Hi, I'm Lindsay Bell with Global Markets Intelligence at S&P Capital IQ. We're settling into the final stages of second quarter earnings season. Growth finally crossed into positive territory for the first time this week as more than 80% of the S&P 500 index has reported results. Currently, earnings per share is projected to be $29.75 for the quarter, representing a 0.02% increase in growth year over year. That compares to the 4.4% decline expected at the start of earnings season on July 13th. Leading growth are the healthcare, telecommunications, and financial sectors, with growth of 14.5%, 12.2%, and 11.9%, respectively. At the start of the reporting season, consumer discretionary was the leading sector, but the group has lost some ground as the new leaders posted outsized earnings beats. Only 66% of the consumer discretionary sector has reported so far, as the retailers tend to bring in the rear of the earnings season. Early announcements from Coach Ralph Lauren and Michael Kors, as well as Kate Spade, who's not part of the S&P 500 index, indicate the quarter could end up better than anticipated for retailers. That being said, the bar was quite low for these retailers going into their reports. The rest of the retail subsector will report in the following weeks. These companies' results will be looked to as an indicator of the health of the consumer and if double-digit growth in the second half of the year is achievable for the consumer discretionary sector. Given the magnitude of consumer discretionary growth, overall S&P 500 growth will largely depend on this group, leading us to heighten our focus on guidance provided from the upcoming reports. Until next time, I'm Lindsay Bell with S&P Capital IQ.